Hi guys, this is Garrett from Inform, and today I want to show you the write-back capabilities of our uh, planning extension for ClickSense, where we actually write data back to SAP. So I'll start off with a very, very short um, dashboard, or very simple dashboard, just for this use case. It's showing sales numbers from uh, the year 2019. And the data model behind it, I pulled the data just for this use case out of the VBRK table. So the sales and um, with the usual field names like customer, like the sales wrap, like um, the period that you actually sold it, um, and more. So it's a very, very simple use case and this is nothing uh, really special for Click. But now we combine this data model with our right back planning solution, uh, right plan, um, and it's right by inform. So in this case, uh, we do have a hierarchy set up in our data. So we are um, having uh, two different countries that we can plan on. The hierarchy shows country level, then the sales trap level, and below the sales trap is the customer. And what I would do right, uh, what I would like to do right now is I would create a new budget. So I am quite optimistic and plan with extra 10%. I'll give it a name. It's my best case scenario, and I'll plan for 2021. So what happens right now is that our extension shifts the actual data from 2019 to 2020, keeping all these ratios that you have um, here in this table, adding the extra 10%. So if I hit OK, my 2021 best case is created. Of course, I can now change data manually, um, just as in any other demo of our uh, write back uh, solution. So, for example, I can change it to 5 million and it's propagating it down to um, the very lowest level, keeping all the different ratios. So, if I hit enter, of course, the ratios will get higher. Or if I um, start on a lower level, I'll add extra 50k. And of course, if I add 50k for this customer, the sales rep will make 50k more or plan with 50k more and it will add up to the country of Germany in February as well. So if I hit enter right now, it will propagate up. So it's a top-down or bottom-up planning. I can do it in intermediate levels as well. So this is nothing special. If you're interested in more details, watch our other videos of the capabilities of this planning extension. But right now, what's new is uh, that I would actually like to write this data or this new budget to an SAP Enterprise ERP system. So what I've set up here in our SAP uh, demo system, I've set up a new table called Z Write Plan. Um, and this is the transaction SC16, the table browser, and I can see, okay, this table is empty right now, so there is um, no data in this table. And um, as soon as I hit the save button, um, as you can see, we don't have any values planned right now my newly created budget will actually be stored into SAP, pulled into the click data model. And now we have um, the old uh, actual value 2019 in comparison to our new scenario best case. And um, now, of course, I, can, I could still change those numbers. But what's uh, really interesting right now is that this table is actually filled right now. So the data that I just created was stored back to SAP, in this case, in a custom Z table. And of course, you could now use this information to distribute it to other SAP modules if you would like, or do whatever you would like with it. So this um, shows our truly enterprise uh, readiness of our uh, right back extension. Hope you liked this video. Um, if you're interested in more use cases or detailed information about this extension, please visit our website or follow us on Twitter. This concludes my video for today. That's all. So hope you liked it. Um, have a good time and bye-bye.